Today we're going to be looking at Virginia Tech offensive tackle Christian Derisaw. One prospect, two minutes, three examples, Matt Holder, go. This play is a great example of how Derisaw is able to create movement on the backside of a zone run. Now what he does a great job of here is using a bucket step to get some depth and help himself get better positioning on this defensive lineman. Then at the point of contact he's going to do a great job of getting his hand to the V of the neck as you can see right here. And he's going to keep his feet moving to wash this defensive lineman out of the play and create a huge cutback lane for his running back. Alright, here's just a dominating block on the inside zone here from Derisau. He is going to get a little bit of help from his guard here on the front side of this combo block, but once that guard starts to work off towards the backer, he does a great job of positioning himself between the ball carrier and the defender, and then all the while he's keeping his feet moving and showing some great strength to get about 68 yards of push. Just a dominating effort there from Derisau. Here we're going to see some intelligence to pick up a line game from Derisau. Virginia Tech is running a man protection scheme here, which means Derisau pre-snap is responsible for number 51. But Duke is running a TE stunt, and as soon as number 51 starts to bend it inside, he's going to attack number 90 to show that his guard can pick up the looper. Then he's going to fall off balance for a second here, but he gathers himself and delivers one more punch to number 90 to make sure that he can't get his hands up and affect the pass. Here we're going to see Derisau dominate on two levels of the combo block. Now the first thing that he does a great job of is getting hip to hip with his guard so that this defensive tackle can't split the, that double team. Then he's going to help out his guard by giving this defensive tackle a nice shove and riding him into the wash. And he tops things off by getting perfect hand placement on this backer and showing some great strength to kick him into the wash as well and ultimately create a huge rushing lane for his running back. Alright, here we're going to see a nice little one-on-one -on -one battle between Derisau and Carlos Basham. On this play, Derisau is going to be running an outside zone here and he's going to be responsible for reaching Basham. But Basham actually does a pretty good job of getting his hands to Derisau's chest and avoiding losing the edge. But if you notice what Derisau does great to counter is he's going to get his hands inside of Basham and he's going to have the strength to not only control him, but move him out of the way and create a nice little rushing lane for his running back to run through in the B-gap. Alright, that's all I got for you guys for today. Make sure to get a copy of our draft guide if you haven't already. Version 2 is coming out soon with over 350 draft profiles, all for just 12 bucks.